Atlanta's number one hip hop station is Hot 107.9. Yours truly, DJ. Holiday checking in. Holiday season live. Um, I got the big dog, the, the the goat man, right here. Kevin Lyles, how you feeling, big dog? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed that I woke up today. Yeah. Get ran into your ass and <laughs> and, and, and come to hang out and talk and shit. With you know, you. I get to see different layers of Kevin, man. I, I know when Kevin's like working a record and he's trying to pursue an artist to make sure he does what he's supposed to do. And then I love when I see the artist take it to the next level and then Kevin's like in the cut like I told you. <laughs> I love it, man. But no, congratulations, man. You're like two for two right now in Atlanta, which is very hard because uh, Atlanta's pretty dry right now, man. Uh, you, you know, it I is, think Atlanta is, is evolving. I think that um, you had a lot of music put out and people emulated each other. Um, but you have like my, my, my brother and partner, you know, Thug, who always pushing the limits. And you have yeah. the creation of YSL, and you had, you have going to uh, come and continue to evolve a, a, as, a, as a human being. And, you know, I, I'm, I go way back. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I remember the first, you know, the T.I. record, Jeezy record mm. we, we, we put out. And uh, I, th these are my brothers. I remember when Ludacris was independent, mm. and uh, we signed him. And the rest is is history. So I like uh, Atlanta is is thirty years rich. Yeah. You know what I mean. I'm freak Nick Atlanta, so you know it's all good. Oh, you, 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 was, out, you was out there running around? I, uh, no, I was actually um, <laughs> a, a politi politicizing myself as uh, a reverend. And I wanted to <laughs> that save is people. a damn lie. <laughs> that and is I want to save lie. these kids. Oh, that crazy. That crazy. Uh, uh, it's probably somebody <laughs> mom at home right now, mad as hell. Like I remember, Kevin, you didn't call me back. <laughs> anyway, but no, nah, man, congratulations on uh, T. Greeley's song is out here doing amazing, man. Much success on that. And the, the guy of the hour, man, we all are so happy for him because, like I said in another interview, he's crossed that threshold, man. That guy, Hancho, man, and, and you got him, bro. Um, you, you know, I I always tell people like, I don't think, uh find artists I really think they find me yeah and because I always tell all of them I'm not gonna get into a bit more I want an emotional contract mm. not a transactional contract Amazing. Um, I want my stomach to hurt when your stomach hurt and I don't sign artists I sign young men and women who actually will be fathers mentors inspirations in their community For sure. so we got to humanize this shit and and I really I don't take credit for being uh, in the business with people. It's like it's not. I got a lot of people working around me, but I really think true partners, the one plus one that equals ten. Yeah, they find each other. Some pulls them together. God makes the mix and say, you two should not think about them, but making each other better. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with Honcho. I think you take these these diamonds in the rough, man. You know, I, I would say, you know, Thug was always Thug, and we loved him. At, 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 the authenticity about him, he was amazing. But even with Gunner and, you know, and, I mean, I think you had your hands on Day Day too for a while. Of you know, it, it just, man, man, what, 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 what are you doing out here? You just. No, I'm, 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 I'm doing what God wants me to do. Exactly. But I'm, I'm going to tell you a moment. So I remember the. And you're like, you know, even Migos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to get into that but, deal. But Migos, but, but, you know. so they, but no, but, 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 so I remember. Uh, Camilla Cabela, uh, my guy Roger, managed her, mm -hmm. and they needed a rapper on Havana. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, the thing. So Roger, of course, 300, he says, yo, let's get Thug on it. And I'm thinking, God, what are you saying? That Havana record is, you can put Young Thug on that record. I saw his life going to change. Mm. Become the biggest record. We go to the Grammys. She's opening up the Grammys. Mm. Young Thug saw that and said, oh, I like this. Yeah. Came back, welcome to London. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he, he started to come into a different, and it, it, that was the moment that he said, oh, I could be this. Yeah. I Look at the show, trailers. Showing show, show, show him something he's show never him seen. Show him something that he had never seen before. before, that very few people from Atlanta have seen. Exactly. And so he, it, it put him into a different uh, mindset, you know what I mean? You know, free, free the YSL. How's you know. your contact with him now? Uh, currently, is this my, any, my any situation? It's my son. Yeah. Um, but he, he's also his own man, and uh, he's what he's going through right now. I don't put, I don't wish on anybody, but it, it's it's telling you that uh, oppression, uh, slavery, 
all this stuff still exists. And yeah. as we continue to achieve things as black people, yeah. uh, people of color, they always want to find a way. We're talking about lyrics, man. Yeah, We're talking about, like, it's like, it's, it's like, no, no, real, no real super hard evidence, just lyrics. No, and, no, uh, and by the way, and it, we're the only, only genre of music yeah. to be judged in that way. This is why Protect Black Art and Free Our Art and all these lobbying things, and I'm down to the wild house. I was going, like, the job for us to do is to not allow them to put us in the places that they want us to be. 100%. And so I'm not, like, at, at the end of the day, you know, Free Young Thug, Free YSL, you know, these lyric shits, not, this, it bothers me because I've been here before. Yeah. I, I lived through yeah. Luke. Luke. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I lived yeah, through yeah. NWA. I lived yeah. through Public Enemy. I lived yeah. through it already. So, you know. So well, um, when you say Jeezy, um, me, me and T. Greasy was talking about uh, the anthems of Atlanta that changed the culture of our, our, our state out here. Like, what record sticks out to you the most uh, from Atlanta? Because, you know, you made this her home, basically, and did so much out here. What record stands out the most that kind of, like, just hit you in the chest Give you goosebumps, made you feel like Jesus Christ, like you know, I wish I could get my hands on this joint. You know, what's funny, man, is like I felt when Jeezy, and again, you can have everything and go to all the strip clubs and that, but when he said, "I put on for my city," mm -hmm. he really meant. <laughs> yeah. it's like no, he really meant like yeah. I put on. For my city, 100%. it's like he really, he really like meant, and I just remember hearing it for the first time. Uh, I listened to it a hundred times, man, because it, it, he wasn't just talking about Atlanta for him. He was saying we should all put on for our city. We all, wherever we from, put on for your city. I'm from Bemo. I wear that shit every day. Shout out to the Ravens. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And, and, uh, but you know they fumbled that man. Ah, 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 stop. Lamar stopped, forgot to use his legs that day. I don't ah, know what happened, man. Yeah, to the it was close. You would you would have you would had a box suite. Uh, I, was at the there, suite. I was there with the mayor. Me, me, oh, shout wow. out to Mayor Scott. Yeah, the Ravens almost had it, but Lamar forgot to use use his legs that day. No, uh, li listen, listen. I can just tell you this: it wasn't the right time. Now, wow. Let me tell you why. Because Detroit. Had it, you know, just two black cities. Yeah, it just wasn't the right that they up seventeen or whatever. It just wasn't the right. And sometimes you gotta let it go. And maybe the world wasn't ready for the two blackly black cities to come together. I, I, said, that, I, said, I said, <laughs> maybe, that. I said that. I said that too. I said that too. I don't know, but shout out to the Ravens. It's all uh, good. That's crazy, man. <laughs> uh, you've had your hands in so much things, you know, as far as business wise. Uh, I just wanted your personal opinion about what show. What's that? What's that one business deal or that one situation that you you didn't pay attention to or you didn't grab that opportunity to? And I know you said God kind of drives you into everything you do, but what's that one situation you I think you passed on and you missed it that you wish you kind of could, could circle around the block and and do it if you could have? Um, if if I could rewind it, which I won't, but, yeah. but I, you asked me a question. Um, I wish Nelly. Ah. Um. I wish we would have understood. Now, I, I was at, I, I was involved, but I wasn't involved. I wish, um, and then God brought us back together and the yeah, management and the whole yeah. thing. But I, I wish I could have took the journey with him from the band aid, you know. So you, you you heard country grammar, but then you passed on it. So I went to A and R then. Oh, you know okay, I mean? so okay, I, okay. I was in promotion. You know? Okay, so, okay, but, okay. But, but but I wish because I know the kind of man he is. Okay, I, and and that's why I know God brought us back together. Yeah. Uh, but that that's one of the ones that I look back and say, you know what? I, I wish we would have understood what that was at the time. And I, I give you another one that one of my brothers, um, 50 Cent. Mm. So Chris Lighty managed, managed to say, I got this kid. Mm -hmm. But it was the, at, at, at a point I had you know, Murder, Inc. And, and Ja and Irv and all of them. Mm -hmm. And... Me and Chris had a conversation. I said, "Yo, you know, I'm with whatever, but but I care about people more. 100%. So I think it's better, yeah, you know, that if he did it, you know. And so, I that to me was like a gift for both of us, and we understood it. Sure, he ran with Dr. Dre because he wouldn't have been the same Fifty Cent if oh, he yeah, was just yeah. signed with us. Yeah, you, you understand? Yeah. So sometimes, you know, and I don't I don't regret any decision because I, I'm sitting here hanging out with you. Yeah. Um, I just I look at those moments. What would that have looked like if we would have had? Oh, last one. We just started 300, and there was a, 
uh, Oz Cohen and an, a, another kid that worked for me, and they said, "Yo, it's this kid named Post Malone." Oh. But but we want we want we that he wants he wants a, a big check, and our motto at that particular time, but we're going we making Toyotas, we're not making Mercedes Benz, mm. and so we're running a business type business. We're not gonna spend that kind of money. So somebody else wanted to spend the money. Money. We should have spent the money. <laughs> in, but, but hold on. But in, in your defense, Post wasn't the Post that we know now. He wasn't. He wasn't. Um, he wasn't. No, no, he I, wasn't that. He I, wasn't that one. I know, but no, no true art. No, no true artist. And let me just say it in the way. No art. Take out the is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No art is the same from his first. From his first. You know, the, the Picasso. His first painting is different from his last. For painting. sure. You know for what sure, I mean? For sure. Reasonable doubt. It's Jay's first. It's different yeah. from the Jay we see. Yeah, right? yeah. So nobody. And and what what I'm saying is, at that moment. He was a piece of art that I should have paid for. Damn. That 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 is and, and because if I had it on my wall right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he shut down. He shut down yeah. Times Square. Yeah. Okay. Motherfuckers come outside. All right, this might this might start a little controversy. My last question, but uh, uh, yeah, nah. So I'm 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 I don't care. I don't care what you <laughs> do. Who was I with last night? No, I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> I need you to name top five executives of all time. Oh, that's not happening. Can't do it. No, it's not. No, I just, I, I just. Well, how about this? I give you the the two, and I, I can't give anybody else because I, I think the the top uh, executive hasn't existed. Okay. In the Fair. form that it's going to be later Fair. on. So first two is two people that took the risks on our culture. Number one, Russell Simmons. Sure. Okay. That's not not, not even a question. Um, I, I, I thank. God, every day that he took mm -hmm. a chance on a kid from Baltimore. Okay. Number two is Barry Gordy. Shout out to Detroit. Yeah. You got two sounds, Motown and Def Jam, that changed the world. Yeah. But yeah. The, the, if, 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 Motown and Def Jam changed the world. So at the end of the day, I don't care how many records people sold and how much stuff things could do. These two guys changed the world, and they dared to be entrepreneurs when they said, you know what, you black. You don't, can't own shit, can't do shit. You know what, you hip-hop, you, you don't even know what you're talking about. Mm. Barry Gordy and Russell Simmons. You heard it right there from the man himself, man. Shout out my dog. <laughs> Shout out my dog, Kevin Lyles, the big dog. Man, what you smoking on? Well, I'm glad you asked. Yes. Well, I'm not smoking, but I have Well, you're a, not smoking. I have but... a habit uh, that... It's my vice, it's cigars. And this is a Cohiba. Um, it's 2014 um, Cuban. Yeah. Um, I do probably seven or eight cigars a day. Uh, I start light, but I knew I was coming to see you. Yeah. And I said, hey, he might ask me to do something. So yeah. Let me, just, let me get my big boy out. So okay. That's it. amazing, man. It's all good, man. Kevin Lyles, man, holiday season. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Hot 107.9. Hot 107.9. Holiday time.